Today we will start with a quiz. How many balls are in the container? If you say the answer is 11, you are wrong. That is because inside the container, there are many balls that you cannot see. So what are these transparent balls? They are often called water beads, water gel or hydrogel, which are commonly used for growing plants. They are actually a polymer that can absorb a lot of water. Here I have a pack of them, and the original polymer beads are very small in size. If we soak them in water for a few hours, as shown in this speed up video, we will see that they get bigger. The beads were about 1.9 mm in diameter at the beginning, and they grew to about 13 mm in diameter after soaking in water, with a size increase of more than 6 times. What about its weight? At the beginning, 10 beads weighed about 0.14 gram. After absorbing water, the weight increased by 100 times to about 15 grams for the same 10 beads. This means that 99.1 weight percent of the water beads is water and only 0.9 weight percent of polymer in it. You may then ask, why can't we see them in water? Normally, when light is shown onto a transparent material, some of the light is reflected from the surface while some of it is transmitted due to the difference in index of refractions of the two media. In the case of water and air, you can see the water surface because the index of refractions of air is about 1, whereas the index of refraction of water is about 1.33. Similarly, if you have a glass bead inside water, you can see the beads because glass has an index of refraction of about 1.5, which is different from that of water. But if you put a water bead in water, it becomes invisible because the water bead contains 99.1% of water. Its index of refraction is effectively the same as water, so you can hardly see the interface between them. One interesting question that comes out from this is, what if we put these polymers into different liquids? Here we have prepared 9 different liquids, ranging from mineral water, acerola juice, green tea, melon soda, Fanta, sangria, coca-cola, barley tea, and milk, and we put the polymer beads into them. Here are how the beads look like after soaking in the liquid after one day. Interestingly, the size of the beads are different depending on which liquid we put them into, with sangria being the smallest, followed by acerola juice. The largest one are mineral water and tea. We can also see that most of the colors are absorbed into the water beads as well, except for the milk, which seems to only take up the water, but not the fat and protein in the colloid. Now, if you put the beads inside water, you can see the shape of them because the colors are different. We can further ask the following question. Will the colors stay inside the beads if we leave them in water? And the answer is no. After 2 hours, the color of the beads fades, and after 10 hours, we can only see the sangria and the glass bead. As we soak them inside water, the color gradually fades and diffuses out of the water beads as shown here. So the water will go into the water beads while the coloration will diffuse out with time. We see that the balls in different liquids are different in size, so it seems that some of the chemicals in the drinks prevent the beads from absorbing more water. Why is it so? That's another story. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.